have items when going on tour not including gear? Floss, flip flops, and a crock pot. What was the first concert you ever went to? First concert I ever went to was Aerosmith. What's the last concert you went to beside your own? I went to go see Adam Rogers. What is your Guilty Pleasure album? Guilty Pleasure album. I'm going to go with Riff Raff. What was the first album you ever bought? I ever bought was probably Weird Al. What's the one song you never get sick of hearing? One song I never get sick of hearing. Cannibal Corpse Sentence to Burn. What were you afraid of as a child? Uh, spider clowns. What are you still afraid of? Uh, clown spiders. <laughs> it, it, it's different now. I worked through the... Any hidden talents? Um, I can cook pretty good, yeah. How many guitars do you own? Oof, that's a good question. But, you know, over 10 now. Favorite hobby besides music? Uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, with cooking. Yeah. Favorite restaurant? Ooh, favorite restaurant. Mm. I'm gonna go with Little Donkey. Good tapas. Yeah. One movie you never get sick of watching? John Carpenter's The Thing. What's the longest you've ever gone without playing guitar? Uh, like a couple days. What's a song you wish you wrote? Uh, maybe any Post Malone song at this point. Royalties and stuff. Biggest jazz influence. Ooh, damn. I mean, they, they kind of changed, but I mean, growing up, it was probably like West Montgomery, Pat Martino, but like Coltrane's a huge influence, and uh, yeah. Biggest metal guitar influence? Probably Dime. Name the one non-musician celebrity you'd freak out over getting to meet. Conan O'Brien. If you could jam with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Uh, I'll go Dime, Dimebag. If you weren't a musician, what would you be doing for your career? Uh, I think I would be a teacher. What would surprise your fans to know about you? I don't know. I guess, uh, I mean, everyone that's on social media nowadays, is anything surprising anymore? You know, like, oh, it's me with this food or this or that, you know? What's really surprising? What's your favorite game show? Jeopardy, yeah, for Are sure. Are you good at Jeopardy? Uh, not, I'm not great at Jeopardy. Uh, actually, I was on the Jeopardy website, and they have a section where if you forget your password, like for retrieval, that, that should just automatically disqualify you from going on Jeopardy, though. You know, like you don't even know your your password. Like anyway, yeah. What category do you pick when you play Jeopardy? I think be history, uh, art history. Famous uh, artists. How do you like your steak cooked? Oh, uh, like a medium. I'm not like super medium rare, maybe medium rare, but I like when the, the texture of the meat is uh, not super gooey, you know? Like I, I like a little firmness to it. What was your favorite dish as a child? Uh, it would be, uh, yeah, noodles and butter, I guess. It's a, you know, it's quick, it's easy, just, you, know. you say you like to cook. What's your specialty? Oh, uh, I would maybe go with. I mean, really, give me a protein and a starch and a green. I can I can make some some shit happen. But uh, maybe like chicken cordon bleu with the garlic dill mash, and then uh, I'll take the excess asparagus that I would stuff the chicken with and saute that in some lemon and garlic. Red, white, or rosé. I'll go red. I think you can really do red with anything. I had a really nice light red the other day with seafood, and it was fantastic. They say it can't be done, but you can do it. Least favorite food? Ooh, you know, I'll probably go mayo. I'm more of a condiment, but um, it's kind of gross. Uh, I mean, the worst one for sure is Cyclops. Like, you, you always have lasers shooting out of your eyes all the time. Like, that's hell. That's not a superpower. I always have lasers shooting out of my eyes. God, that'd be terrible.